I want to bring in CTV News aviation specialist Phil Dirty. Phil, good morning. So can you boil it down into layman's terms for us, help us understand what this outage was all about and why it led to the delays of so many flights? Yeah, good morning, Marcia. Well, what happened is the NOTAM system went down, and the the, uh, the best way to put it is called notice to air missions. In the old days, we used to call it notice to airmen. So it's important or critical information that the pilots need to know about their trip. So, for instance, I just printed off two uh, pages worth of NOTAMs just for Toronto. Um, so basically, if there's cranes in the areas, if runways are closed, if taxiways are closed, if they've put uh, chemicals on the runway, it's all this important stuff that the pilots need to know before they leave. What could have caused this outage? We know they're working on it. They're trying to get to the bottom of it. But what's your take? It seemed to be a computer glitch and the whole system crashed. And uh, so they're working feverishly to get it back up and running. And it seems uh, they said that uh, things are starting to move again. So the NOTAMs are starting to come out. Um, but what they can do also is they do have a backup, which we, they do orally. So the pilots that are en route already, if the NOTAMs are down, uh, automated system is down, then the air traffic controllers can actually relay the information to the pilots about their destination. Do we use a similar system to NOTAM here in Canada? Yeah, exactly the same thing. I, you can go onto the website, uh, check the aviation weather, uh, you can check what the winds are, you can get all your information off of the website and off of that system. So what are you seeing about flights in Canada being affected by this? Well, the Canadian system isn't affected. It's the flights going into the United States. So the FAA system, so any flights that's uh, bound for the States, like right now, uh, there'll be a lot of flights going down to Florida, to New York, Chicago, uh, some going to L.A. Um, so those flights will be delayed until they can get the proper NOTAMs up and running. Okay, and it seems as though... Um, we can't get a firm grip right now, Phil, on how long the impact, the consequences of this will last. Obviously, there's going to be a ripple effect, but would be your best guess before things get cleared up? Well, that's the thing. What's going to happen, as you said, it's going to be a ripple effect. So they're going to be taking delays. Uh, you know, some they should. They said they were going to have it up and running by 9, 9 a.m. this morning, which is about half an hour ago. So things are start, slowly starting to move. The pilots can get airborne again and... Uh, you know, but things will be delayed, but they'll start to catch up during the day.